Good morning. Last day here in Missouri. We're gonna do a morning hunt. And this is uh, JR's little setup, how he gets, gets everything into the field. He uses these little sleds. Every year this time, most likely it's wet and it's extremely muddy like you guys have seen. So a lot of people around here use the sleds, it, it doesn't leave a footprint, doesn't leave any any ruts, it just slides along the top. So that sled is a lifesaver, especially the quad. You guys know how we do it, I'm always on the darn quad when it's muddy or when farmers just don't want you driving, uh, you know, vehicle on their field. But anyways, we're going to do a morning hunt and uh, the great thing about this hunt, I don't know if you guys watched the last video, if you didn't after this one, Go back and check it out. I'll put it in the uh, in screen annotations at the end. But it was extremely clear, sunny. It's like 68 degrees. It was very nice day. I think we shot like 42 or something like that. But today is completely different from yesterday. Today it's a complete 180. It's about 20 degrees cooler, and we have a north wind. Not a lot of north wind, but a north wind. Jr. The guide here at Waterfowl Assassins. He's like, man. It should just switch them up. It, sh it should make them do some crazy stuff. So I agree. We're going to see how it goes. Morning. We're going to see how it goes. Yeah. It's like a, it's a it's new day, you know, compared to yesterday. Hazy and yeah. a really light north wind. Yeah. So let's you ready? hope these birds equally real close with this weird weather. Yeah, um, so we got hazy. We got thick clouds. So complete 180 from yesterday. Let's get into the field. Yo, you ready? No, I'm not. Do it, do it. I'm just kidding. Well, we are sat down finally. We uh, adjusted the spread a little bit, not too many. I'm sure we moved, I don't know, probably 500 decoys. That's about it. That's not many when you're sitting in a 5,000 decoy spread. Preston's manning the old flag. We got a big, we got a big uh, volley coming at us. So, as you can tell here, it is dense, dense fog, like, I don't know, visibility is probably quarter mile, I would guess. Yeah. And you cannot see these birds. All you can do is leave the volume low on these e-collars and hope you hear them before they literally appear out of the clouds. So, buddy's running some feather flyers and a four decoy rotary. And the hole comes all the way over here. Boom, and stops right there. So, it's a pretty darn big kill hole. I can't even see them in the clouds. Look at that. It's insane. It's hard to look up there. Yeah. Yeah, we double tap too. Get him again. Coming back. boys. <laughs> that was good. There's another one flipping around, I think. Boy, howdy. It's extremely foggy still. It's almost 11 a.m. on the dot. The fog's just steadily, it's not even lifting yet, but it should be lifting soon. And we got birds are flying, and these birds literally just come out of nowhere. We usually have to leave the e-collar off so we can hear them, and then we flip it on when we know they're around. And with the e-collar on, you don't know where they are, and they literally come out of the darn clouds, just boof. So, uh... I'm not able to <coughs> operate this camera a bunch, so I got you here. You're handy right now, so bear with me. 
Well, that'll work. Well, yeah! <laughs> Shot them out the back, baby. They're just coming over. I mean, they're a little high, but today we're shooting, boys. We we all agreed we're gonna go through shells. Yeah! Yeah! Big goose right there. Oh boy, it's foggy. Holy smokes. Yo, Woo! Get him? Yep. Get him. Get him. Woo! And we don't even know if they're falling out there. <laughs> this is dense fog. Did you see that? Beautiful. That was sweet. I got to pee. I just did. I feel great. With my gun. <clears throat> I'll walk down around this way. Oh boy, they just dive in here coming out of nowhere in the fog. This is amazing. So neat. That is sweet. I think we need it louder. Hmm? Wanna drown them and bring them back? I don't care. Whatever you want to do. Oh man. We killed one. They were high. It's all right, man. They were, they were high. We got to take the the first tries we get, and we've learned that. They flared there. Did you see that? Yeah. What they flare on? Like you probably see us a little bit now. <laughs> I got him on the. Scale. Oh, oh, oh! That boy, all kinds of dead. Oh, I love singles. Goodness. <laughs> he is not running. That took a lot of shells for one bird. Yeah, I think everybody wants to squeeze the trigger. I didn't lead him enough on the first one. Everybody just wants to squeeze the trigger. Well, we are getting ready to head out. And you seen the fog. It was extremely heavy. We waited and waited and waited. We figured today's hunt was going to be done by 10, 11, like it usually is when they're going to be headed back to water. But lo and behold, they came. The fog lifted at about noon. And in that hour, we didn't have much going on, so we picked up. I put all the cameras away. JR actually went and got the quad, and these two guys went and got their trucks, and me pressed, this is what happened right here. Perfect example. Look, running to get guns. This is exactly what happened. <laughs> Literally picked up too early. So it was me, Preston, and Noah that stayed out in the spread. The guys went and got the truck and the quad. And during that time, that right there happened. A big volley came, I mean a huge, huge volley came and completely feet down in the hole. We were literally scrambling to grab shells and everything else. All my cameras were packed up, including this one. I just got it back out of the bag and look what we did. In the morning, we shot 30. This morning, the video, the whole video you've seen, we shot 30. Yeah, yeah, this, this is what happened. So you can imagine if all of us still would have been in the field and they would have feet down, we would have had double this. But we finished that volley of about 500 birds with 50 coming out of it. So down in 50 birds with three guys was nuts, but we let them land and we did what we needed to do. Save the tundra, right? But if you guys want to come out here and do 
This, right here. This. Boom. Get a hold of this man. Kill him, son. Kill him. Get a hold of him. I'll link him down below. Uh, bad dude right here. Bad dude. 14 years invested chasing these white birds. <laughs> it's 14 years of being crazy. Seriously, you guys have seen me. I've, you guys have seen the videos of my frustration. You go crazy chasing these dang things. The e-collar helps, but it's still snow goose hunting. It's a try. You go and try it. Sometimes this happens. Sometimes you shoot 12 or 10 or 20. That's snow goose hunting. So if you guys want to come out here and do it, hit him up. Thank you for watching. Drop a thumbs up if you like this video. Any questions you guys have, you know what to do. Drop a comment down below and ask me. I always, always, always reply to the good ones. All you haters out there, you know who you are. I don't reply to you. So go ahead and comment. I ain't gonna reply. And boom, if you want the new face shields, the new snow goose hoodie that says no plugs, no limits on the arm. Plus, boom, our new hats. I'll link those in the description below. Go check them out. Thank you for watching. Y'all have a good one. Peace. Yeah. Guala, 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 guala. I'm living like it's no tomorrow. Don't know my style, won't let you borrow. You're thirsty, have a glass of water. I'm killing these beasts, I'll be more dead.